All right guys, so on today's video, we are turning one of my favorite foods into a soup. So I love baked potatoes every single time I go out to eat. If I'm having carbs, that is my carb of choice with all the fixins. So today, not only are we turning it into a soup, but we're making it low carb. Now, if we're making it low carb, we're obviously not using potatoes. So you're probably thinking like, what in the world can you possibly use instead of potatoes? So we're gonna be using a turnip. If you don't have access to a turnip, you can also use parsnips. They both have very, very neutral flavors that will absorb any flavors that you put into it, okay? I already have mine peeled here. So this is what it's gonna look like once it's peeled. It does resemble potato. So now we're just going to dice it. And you don't really have to worry too much about the size because um, we are going to blend this. Okay, so our turnips are nice and diced, and now we're gonna go ahead and saute our bacon, get it nice and crispy. You can hear the sizzle. Okay, so right now we're gonna cook our bacon until it gets nice and crispy, and then what we're gonna do is actually empty half of it, or like take half of it out, um, because we're gonna use that as our topping. Okay, so our bacon is nice and crispy. Now, right now it still looks a little soft, but you guys know how bacon is. As you, um, as it dries and cools, it gets crispier and crispier. So, okay, look at how much oil the bacon ended up um, rendering. We need to empty some of that out. You don't wanna throw away bacon fat. You can use it for so many different things. This is already hot. We're gonna toss in our onion. And saute that. This is all flavor right here. Even added a tiny bit of oil. And we're also gonna toss in our garlic. Now our pan is really hot. So this is gonna saute our onions super quick. You know your onions are sauteed and just ready to go when they start turning translucent. I'm sure you guys hear that all the time. Look at that. It smells so good in here, guys. OMG. So obviously we are making a low carb version. So we're using the turnips, but if you're not low carb, you can totally use potatoes. It's absolutely delicious. Like a baked potato soup, loaded baked potato soup is like everything in life. It's seriously so delicious. At this point, um, we're doing the turnips. If you're not using turnips, then you would just use your potatoes, okay? saute that now you don't necessarily have to saute your, your turnips or your potatoes but I just think that it's gonna pick up all the flavor from like the bacon and onions and garlic and it's really just gonna give it an amazing taste because remember even potatoes potatoes are pretty bland in taste um, but it picks up like anything that you season them with so same scenario with these I'm gonna go ahead and add in our seasoning. Okay, so right now we're just adding a little pepper, our salt. Okay, a little cayenne pepper. At this point, you can add any seasonings you want. I'm doing some red pepper flakes just for that spice. I would say that our turnips are probably a little bit more than halfway cooked through. So now it's time. We're gonna add in our broth. I'm actually using just some beef broth. This is the one from Kettle and Fire. I do have a discount code um, that I will leave linked in the description below for you. So we're using beef broth, but if you have bone broth, it would be that much more nutritious. You add in the collagen, protein, all that. So um, yeah, if you have it, go ahead and use it. Ooh, okay, so this is boiling. Now we're gonna go ahead and add in our almond milk. So um, if you don't have an immersion blender, you can obviously use a regular blender, or even if you want, you know, your potato chunks, then, you know, you don't have to blend it. But I feel like a typical loaded potato soup has, um, is blended. So that's why we're gonna do it. When you're cooking low carb, you're not gonna wanna use cornstarch, um, just because it has the carbs and corn and, um, but a great substitute for cornstarch is xanthan gum. You can also use arrowroot starch. 
um, tapioca flour, they all do the same, you know, they, they are all like a thickening agent. Okay, now with xanthan gum, it is a thickener, but you have to make sure that you whisk it into whatever it is you're making or you're gonna have like little clumps and you're, it's actually not gonna fully thicken the way you want it to. I ended up doing about a teaspoon of xanthan gum and after I mixed it all in, I let it simmer for about two minutes and as you can see here, it has thickened up the soup a lot. Now, I'm good with this consistency and if I let it simmer a little more, it will still get a little thicker, but if you want it thicker, like a thick, thick soup, I would say just go by half teaspoon increments because you don't wanna add too much and then you'll end up having to add liquid and you know just kind of go back and forth. So um, it's really just to personal preference. I'm good here with one teaspoon, but again, if you want it a little thicker, just keep adding half teaspoons until you reach your desired consistency. And for our toppings, we're using everything that you would just typically use on a loaded baked potato. We have our cheese, bacon, sour cream, and green onions. All right, I'm going in and getting a little bit of all the toppings. Everything is so hot. Mmm, perfect amount of spice too. Yum. This is so delicious, perfect for the cold weather. You guys have to make this. Mmm. The soup is nice and creamy, perfect for the cold weather. You guys have to make this. I'm gonna leave you the recipe linked in the description below. If you guys like this video, make sure you hit that like button. Don't forget to share the channel and this recipe with your friends and family. Thank you so much for being here. I love you and I'll see you on my next video. Mwah.